진짜 너무 기대된다 나전 보러 간적한 번도 없어 네 들어오세요 어? 저 사람이 점쟁인가 봐 여기에 앉아서 손을 보여주세요 대서는 말씀드릴 수가 없네요 악한 기운이 잔뜩 있어요 당장 나가세요 근데 우리 돈도 이미 다 냈는데? 나가세요! 안녕! When people think of irregular verbs in Korean the most common one they think of is verbs that end with this letter p i p For example, 춥다 meaning to be cold conjugates as 추워요 but 곱다 meaning to be beautiful or to be nice conjugates as 고와요 and 입다 meaning to wear conjugates as 입어요 but actually these verbs aren't as irregular as they appear on the surface so today we're going to talk about these kinds of verbs and some other types of verbs that are often thought of as irregular First, verb stems that end with p i p are usually regular. There are a few exceptions, but the majority of the time they work like this. If an action verb stem ends with p i p attach a y o if the last vowel is a or o, or attach o y o if the last vowel is anything else. And this is exactly like conjugating most other verbs in Korean. So, c h a p d a meaning to catch will become c h a b a y o and c h o p d a meaning to fold will become c h o b o y o If a descriptive verb stem ends with p i p remove the p i p and attach u. Then that'll become w o y o in the present tense. So t o p d a meaning to be hot, will become t o w o y o in the present tense. Easy, right? But there are a few verbs that don't follow this, and here are the most common ones. k u p d a to bake, becomes k u o y o n u p d a to lie down becomes d u o y o t o p d a to help becomes t o w a y o c h u p d a to pick up becomes c h u o y o k o p d a to be beautiful or to be nice becomes k o w a y o That's right, five common verbs that don't follow along with everyone else. And I should note that two of them, t o p d a and k o p d a aren't even commonly used by themselves. So you only have to memorize the other three exceptions. The next type of irregular ending is verbs that end with h i a t For these ones, remove the h i a t first, then attach the sound, e. Here are some examples. 그렇다, to be so, becomes 그래요. 까맣다, to be black, becomes 까매요. But 하얗다, to be white, becomes 하예요. This one's a bit of an exception because the ha ya sound actually combines with the a sound to become ha ye. The next irregular ending is lil. Anytime the lil is followed by an ending that begins with nian, p i p or s i o p remove it. Otherwise, it stays. For example, kilda, meaning to be long, becomes kin, kimnida in the nida form, or kiseo. In the honorific form, due to each of those three letters, nian, p i p and s i o t The next type of verb ends with the t i g u t For some verbs, the t i g u t will actually change to become a lil. For example, t i t a meaning to listen, or k o t a meaning to walk, will become t i r o y o and k o r o y o But, Mita meaning to believe and pata meaning to receive will just conjugate normally as midoyo and padayo. So here are the most common irregular verbs ending with this letter. d u t a to listen becomes t u r o y o k o t a to walk becomes k o r o y o k e d a t a to realize becomes k e d a r a y o s i t t a to load becomes s h i r o y o m u t a to ask becomes Muroyo. Now, these verbs are so commonly used, especially t i t a k o t t a and g e d a t a that even if you don't memorize them, you'll still master them through regular exposure. The next irregular ending is s h i o t For many verbs with this ending, you'll just remove it. 
Take for example, natta, which means either to get better or to be preferable. Natta becomes na ayo in the present tense. But for other verbs, you'll just conjugate them normally. Uta, meaning to smile, just becomes usoyo. Here are the most common exceptions to learn. Natta, to get better or to be preferable, becomes na ayo. Chitta, to build, becomes ji oyo. Puta, to swell, becomes pu oyo. Itta, to connect, becomes i oyo. Chotta, to stir, becomes cho oyo. Of these, the most common verb you'll hear is probably natta. And the next irregular is verbs ending with le. Let's take morda as an example, which means to not know. Remove the e vowel at the bottom, then copy the lir to the bottom of the previous syllable. Next, attach ayo if the final syllable ends with a or o, just like usual, or attach oyo if it ends with any other vowel. Here, mol has o, so we'll attach ayo and we get molayo. Purada, on the other hand, which means to sing, would become puloyo because it doesn't end with the vowel a or o. However, the verb darada, meaning to follow, is a common exception. It conjugates to just darayo without copying the lir to the bottom. And finally, one that's not often talked about is verb stems that end with the vowel e. Now, most of the time you simply remove the vowel e, then replace it with either ayo or oyo, just like before. So, kippuda, meaning to be happy, would become just this. And then we'd attach oyo and get kippoyo. Or, kopuda, meaning to be hungry, would become this. And then we'd attach ayo and get kopayo. But with a few verbs, it's different. Tamguda meaning to lock, and tamguda meaning to soak, conjugate as tamgayo and tamgayo. However, you'll often hear these incorrectly conjugated as tamguoyo and tamguoyo, so keep that in mind. Phew, I think that's all of them. Oh wait, I almost forgot the most common irregular verbs. Ida to be conjugates as ieyo after a consonant and yeyo after a vowel. Also, the verb hada becomes heyo and the verb tweda becomes tweo. Okay, now we're done. So you'll see that except for some exceptions, most verbs in Korean aren't really irregular at all. And once you learn the rules, you only need to learn a few exceptions to be able to conjugate any verb you might encounter. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. You can also learn more about this topic in the extended PDF version of this lesson, which is available to download for free on my website. And remember that new videos are posted here every week, so if you like what you see, click subscribe. 그럼 다음에 또 봐. 그럼 저는요? 저는 부자가 되나요? 성공할까요? 아, 아니요. 그냥 먹는 것좀 신경 쓰시고 운동도 좀 하고 손톱도 좀 그만 물어뜯으세요.